I'm doing a range test of the Ray-E Wi-Fi 6 router with beamforming technology and see how far it will cover my tablets and phone. I'm going to put it on top of my car and it is currently powered by an anchor power station. The power station and it's on the car. I am wearing the GoPro so hopefully I can show you how stable the connection is and how far it will go. Just to give you some background information on this test, this router covers up to 3,000 square feet. It can also penetrate a lot of obstacles. Uh, in my later test in this video, I put it in the basement where my internet access point is. There are two floors between me and the router and it handled just fine. I got 300 megabits per second, which is exactly what I paid for. Software I'm going to be using for the range test is called Talkie. It's a free app on Android where two devices connected in the intranet or the same router will be able to text and call each other. For example, I'll pick the HTC M9 and call and I'll receive a call here. So does not require internet. As long as they are connected to the same router, these two devices can communicate with each other. So that is the idea for the range test. Both devices are connected to this router and I'm gonna walk away from it. I have the software installed on both devices so they can call or text each other. And I'm gonna walk to that direction. So hopefully we can see the coverage. I can text. And this is a very old Android phone. I do not have cell phone coverage. So that's the text demo. I can also call each other. K88 is the tablet and the HTC phone is on my left hand. I can call and here I can receive the call. Yeah, and the call is still active. I can hear myself. I think this is over 100 feet away. And if I go to the settings page, I can see the connection speed is 117 megabits per second. 5G hertz. Still works. I'll max out the volume. I think the volume is at the highest setting. Now we're stepping out of line of sight. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Still works. Still works. And now I lost line of sight. It's blocked by the building. Testing one, two, three. Still works. Now it's out. I think that Wi Fi signal is pretty weak. Now it's, now it's um, interrupting. Testing one, two, three. Now it's completely disconnected. No, nope, still got it. Really? Well, this is amazing. Let's see if this chat message get, gets back as I recover the connection. Let's restore the line of sight. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, got it. Now it's back. I'm texting the other device. I think it is back. Oh, this guy is disconnected. Active call. End the call. Well, that was an amazing range test results. Uh, I think it is not only a wonderful solution for home use, but also for camping. You can set this thing up in the campsite and have everyone in that large area connected to this central 
access point uh, where you have your own intranet and have everybody you know still text or chatting with each other uh, using audio with the proper software. Its connectivity can be extended even more with additional units. With the um, press of this button, it should create a massive mesh network and I will not be surprised if you get two or three miles coverage with lots of unit in the middle to do the relay. This is the Rayi Wi-Fi 6 router that supports mesh network. You can buy multiple ones and connect them together to create a mesh network. Power adapter and uh, the ethernet cable. That's a lot of antennas. A pairing button on top. It got four LAN ports, DC input, reset button, and internet input. Let's plug it in. The user manual. So here you may pause and read if you're interested. That's all the specifications and the app I'm supposed to download. The standby power is around one to four watts. Now let's set it up by using its Wi-Fi signal and the app. Have it connected to the files modem I mounted on top of my window frame. This is a quick overview of the app where you can get a complete list of connected devices and change its eco mode and so much more. It supports both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz to maximize compatibility because some of the smart home devices can only support 2.4 gigahertz. There is also a parental control where you can limit the kids' screen time. I found the app very useful as it has all the bases covered. By default, the Wi-Fi strength is set to the maximum power consumption mode, which gives the best results when passing through walls. It's worth mentioning that there is a web UI where you get a dashboard overview and some of the device controls on the left. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this review helpful.